In the traditional teachings of our Dene, there is something that is worse than evil. As a five-fingered being, it is our responsibility to find these truths. Dene zata ablati yatehi, which is the, the best that a person can be, is the way that we should be. When we hear the coyote stories, many people only see it as cute little stories of uh, furry animals and doing cute and funny things. The greater part of the story is beyond that. <laughs> The uh, season right now is winter time. We've had the first frost before the uh, lightning return. We can uh, share winter stories. The winter stories as told during this particular season is actually the uh, beauty way. Also, the opposite in that, uh, in ceremonial settings, they have also which is uh, the not good way. In our language, we have words that there are no words for, as far as I know, in other languages. Just like there are some words that we don't have that are used in other languages. But the word, which is, uh, most time it's interpreted to mean evil. There is something evil as far as what people understand, but in the traditional teachings of our Dene, there is something that is worse than evil. And that particular evil is to have something presented to you that you would think is true and good and right. But in trying to uh, comprehend it, and when you finally understand it, you find out that it is a big lie, that it is not true in any way, in any sense. It does not have order. And so in our language, when we say, which one? is that uh, it cannot just be evil, it is greater than evil. When we hear the coyote stories, many people only see it as cute little stories of uh, furry animals and doing cute and funny things. But uh, that's just uh, as we understand it on the surface, as it's told to younger children. And the greater part of the story is beyond that. For example, the trotting coyote story of the uh, creation of the universe and the stars that we see. In the Trot and Coyote story, we are told that uh, the holy people were sitting in this large hogan, and uh, they were taking the time as they took one single star and they would place it in absolutely a perfect position. They were setting out these stars to guide the five-fingered being as they lived on earth, and to be always to be able to find the path, the correct path. And so all these lights of stars were put into the proper order and it was taking a lot of time. Coyote, on the other hand, is very impatient, and he eventually, he gets past the door guards, and he runs in, and he grabs a basket of stars, and he spins around with it, and he says, why don't you just do this? And so today we have the Milky Way, where the coyote spun with the basket of stars. He created this disorder of uh, what the uh, holy people were trying to do by placing stars of light. These lights are symbolic of light of truth. And because we say it, we say, and those mean that we receive the light. We are given the light and we receive the light. And so those are the truths that we refer to in the traditional teachings of the, uh, the coyote stories and uh, the placing of the stars in their proper order and uh, where there was harmony and beauty as to the way that they were set out. And it, it is that uh, truth is compatible because it comes from one place only, and that is from the holy people. And you cannot change it. You cannot make it any different than what it is. It is as it is, and there are many of them. And uh, when you look out into the universe, you see all these different lights, and that's like the truths that are available. There are many, many truths, and these truths are not only for today, but they have been for the past, and they will be for the future. They are always there. These lights are truth. As a five-fingered being, it is our responsibility and our duty actually to find these truths and to understand that there are evil that masquerade as truth greater than evil. And uh, it is the misdirection. It will lead us into the wrong direction. It is in the traditional teachings of the Neh. When we listen to all of the different trotting coyote stories, it is that uh, he thinks of himself as the most important and that he is the only one that matters. And so those are the, the wrong ways to think of self. And integrity, on the other hand, is very important. 
It is uh, having a spiritual way of doing things and uh, having a spiritual understanding of things and uh, to have them in your emotion and in your minds and your thought and then how you respond to it outside as your behavior. Your behavior are the things that you think, the things that you do, and those are your behavior and your character is viewed by the things that you do. In the, our language of our people, they say it, the ya'atehi, which is the, the best that a person can be, is the way that we should be. This is a person that lives by great values and great principles of truth. I've uh, come across some very, very good people and uh, their character and the way that they did things. When you look at the, the good that they are, the good that they do, you can recognize their goodness. And comparing it to the way you do things and you are, you think it to yourself, it's impossible to be that good because it takes every moment and every hour of the day and year after year to be able to uh, live in that way, to not be an, an angry person in any way, to be constantly a lover of truth. And so the idea that this is impossible to be that good, it is something that takes a lifetime. And uh, the good people that I have come to know, they'll always be of influence to me. And so the teaching of our people is that uh, don't do like Coyote does. Don't do the things that he, he does for himself. Coyote is uh, really symbolic of us, the five-fingered being, as the worst that we can be. We are the ones that... Uh, cause disorder in our life. We're the ones that uh, create ugliness in our life by doing the things that are not good. And just as uh, the coyote created the disorder by just throwing the stars into the sky. In the early teachings, as I understood it, you know, the worst thing you could call another person was ma'i, ma'i no nen. And uh, that means the one that looks like a coyote or the one that is the coyote. And so that was the worst thing you could be called. The traditional teaching is that as you trot through your life, as you journey through life, that you find truth. And uh, it's not easy. It's not something that uh, is just uh, available anywhere. Sometimes your search is very extensive and a complete lifetime. But nonetheless, they are there. And so, And so all these are ceremonies that uh, people can view. If you go to the sweat lodge, you know, talk about uh, or Hujonja or Ina, uh, which is life ways. Life ways is to learn how to be of good character and to uh, understand that uh, there is such a, such a thing as being very good, very humble, very prayerful, very spiritual. And it, there is also the possibilities of uh, being able to love all things, the vegetation, insects, birds, and animals and the things your environment and to be able to love people even though that they may be very corrupt and uh, the teachings of our people are very extensive in that way and those are the things that we are told. Yeah, 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 yeah.